In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up FTP server access from an NVR or DVR in order for you to actively record to that FTP server while you're also recording on the recorder itself. This is useful in the event of a a theft where your DVR or NVR is damaged in the theft or it's stolen and you'll have an active backup to the server so that you can check on the footage from any of those cameras that you have configured to upload to the FTP server. Very useful for businesses where you need it or required by the state to have a backup in the instance where your recorder goes missing. So first I'm going to right click, click main menu, I'm going to log into the admin user Inside of here, the FTP settings can be found in the storage tab. And then if you're not already on the FTP tab, you'll want to navigate to it and click on it to get to this page. Here I already have some settings in here and I'm going to click on the FTP as I don't have a secure FTP server entered. To going to clear all of my settings here. First, I'm going to need to enable this. And here's where I'm going to type in the IP address for my FTP server. In this instance, I'm just using a local server that I have set up on my network with an IP address of 192.168.1.8. You'll want to enter in the IP address for your FTP server that you have set up on your network, or if you have it hosted out on the internet, then you will want to use the information that's provided to you by your service provider for that FTP server. And then they should also give you a port number. I'm just using the default FTP port number on my local network, which is 21. And I don't need to worry about secure FTP because it's going over my local network that no hacker has the ability to get into my local network so they can't see any of this FTP footage. If you're going over the internet you'll probably want to use SFTP. In fact your service provider will likely require that. Usually the port is 22 for that. However again we're just using plain Jane FTP for this video. Here you're going to want to enter the user that you've created for your FTP server. So for example it would be like a user with a password and I'm just using some generic information here. I have this information set up on my FTP server. It's just generic for this video. Um, in here we can use the storage path. This storage path must be a folder present on your FTP server. It, this FTP setting does not have the ability to create a folder. So you want to use the root and then do your folder that you have set up on your video server. Sometimes you may not need this root bracket, but uh, for my FTP server, I do need this root bracket. If it doesn't record any footage to your folder, then you want to make sure that you either include this forward slash, or if you don't need the forward slash, it all depends on your FTP server settings or the software you, or FTP server you have set up. Here for file size, we can designate what file size we would like the files to be as a maximum. For example, you could set like a 50 megabyte uh, file limit and it's going to pack the video files into 50 megabyte segments. Makes it easy if you need to do a lot of exporting, backing up, or archiving. I don't need to do any of that stuff, I just need that backup. So I'm going to set it to zero and it's going to use a default setting. I'm not sure exactly what that default setting is, but I don't really care what the file size of my video files are. Here is where you can select which channel you would like to upload. You can select all of your channels or just one channel at a time. This happens to be a four channel NVR so I have four different choices here. I'm going to go ahead and back up all of my channels. Next is the day selection so you can select the day that you would like to have recorded. I'm going to do all days and essentially I'm, this is going to follow my recording schedule that I have set up. There is event and general recording. So general recording will go off your 24-7 recording schedule that you have set up on the schedule page under the storage options. And then the event will go off of any smart detection or video-based motion detection events that you have set up. Again, you'll need to set that up under your schedule and then make sure you set up the appropriate smart detection or video detection settings. I'm not going to show that in this video because this video is simply focusing on the FTP settings. We do have videos on setting up video based motion detection and smart detection that are available in our blog or by contacting our support team. So really I just care about general continuous recording. I want to do it every single day for all of my channels so I'm going to click the general recording option. Again you want to make sure you have adequate space and if you're subscribed to a service you want to make sure that you fall within the limitations if you have any data caps or anything like that. You want to make sure that you're not trying to upload too much data to that FTP server as well as not bog down the upload speed on your internet connection. 
if I'm if you're on a local network and you have like a gigabit or a hundred megabit network, then you shouldn't need to worry too much about this. Last but not least, uh, we have snapshots. Uh, you can set up a snapshot interval. This is really useful if you don't have a lot of storage and you just want to store snapshots, then you can do snapshot recording. This is also going to go off of the record uh, settings as well, as long as you have snapshots enabled. And then you can tell it which channel you would like to have snapshots uploaded from. And an interval of two seconds is kind of quick if you're not if you don't need a whole lot of that you could increase this you know up to 30 seconds uh, we'll leave it at the default two seconds since we have a lot of space on our server and then we want to we can do all of the channels and you can also unselect channels if you need to blue means it's selected and gray means it's means it's unselected so we'll click OK I'll click apply I don't actually have an FTP server live right now but if you wanted to test to make sure your video uh, storage uh, your storage path and your server address, username, and password are all correct, you could click the test button. What this will do is have the NVR try and reach out to your FTP server, see if it can log into that user, and then it sees if this folder does exist on the FTP server. Hopefully this video helps give you some insight in how to set up and enable the FTP settings. You're gonna to wanna to make sure again that you have a storage schedule set, you use the proper server address, port number, username, password, make sure this folder does exist on that FTP server, and then set up some of the parameters here based on what you would like to record to your FTP server. And then make sure, last but not least, you click the apply button. Thank you for watching.